Hi guys, Billy here. Okay, this morning I'm making a small vlog. A uh, 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 follower there has requested to see some of Margate stuff and the cultures and the people and what we do and so on. So this is just one of those smaller vlogs that I'm going to make. I'm on my way now to my favorite Pakistani uh, cell phone shop and repairer. Uh, went there early this morning, gave in my wife's cell phone. Uh, didn't want to charge nicely, so he's going to fix it up for me. Um, I'm in the process of buying better equipment and uh, gimbals and stuff so that we can have better views and better mics and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, coming through town and some roadworks and stuff going on. So, um, yes, they are redoing Margate Main Street on the road this side. Now you'll see on the right, ooh, lots of vehicles this side. My Pakistani is in the shop complex that side, so let me just get through all this traffic and then we will talk again. Turn right here. A little bit of how the town looks like. Prime cellular. Let's get some parking space this side. This is our petrol stations. And a lot of your fellow countrymen are living in Margate or in South Africa and they're loving it. So let's go ask them a couple of questions and see what they have to say. Right, out the vehicle. As you can see, there's some generators here as well. Uh, we do have load shedding sometimes or most of the time, but for the last month there was no load shedding. So, um, but there's always good to have some on standby. This is a little parking space here and this is my favorite cell phone repair gentleman we'll do an interview with him now hi good day how are you how are you how are you how can't are you? complain you? please i uh, want to do an interview for the vlog no problem give me your name right. surname and from where are you sir my first name is rizwan surname is uh, hussein and uh, i am from pakistan what part of pakistan what part of pakistan it's a small city uh, mandi bahawaldeen Okay. Mandi Bawalin city, yeah, I'm staying there. You want to greet some of your family in your language? Uh, Assalamu alaikum, everyone, my friend and my family. Assalamu alaikum, how are you? <laughs> That's good, yeah. I've been coming to him for hey, quite a long time, like around uh, nine, ten years ago. Nine, nine ten now, years, yeah. yeah I opened is... this shop uh, 2015 February. 2015. Oh, that's from I think I know you from 2016 or 17 between that. That's it, yes, that's it. We just had a customer walking yet. You mind that? Yeah, yeah. Another yeah, customer. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Yeah, we're putting on YouTube. Yeah. All right, you yeah, help that gentleman there and then we can go on with a small interview. See what he does. Your phone already fixed now. That awesome. Also. Hello. Here. Yeah, I'll leave it on charge a bit. Thank you. Let me sell one phone to customer. Let me just show you the shop this side. With the original charge All the cell that. phone covers. And any gadget you want, you can buy at his shop. Lightning equipment, fans, quite a few laptops, laptop repairs as well, soldering machine, and just something from everything. You can find in his shop. This one, my remind, remind me, cat. That's it. <laughs> Everybody comes to you. Yeah. So everything's working. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Use him. I charge the battery. Okay. What is a plastic screen on here? No, that I have to put. So you know the door at the top. Day in my life. Billy Inkman. All the vehicles going past. Yeah. The whole front of Margate Main Drive is being revamped. <laughs> To see so that was one. Oh, maybe you can buy it tomorrow. Call on the screen. Okay, we're watching him putting on that a new screen, screen onto the cell phone. Mm. That that a very nice nicely. and precise job. Nice. Yeah, you have to clean it nicely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me what made you become in this profession of repairing cell phones? Uh, repairing cell phone, server, cell, everything. I like cell phone when I was small age. And you? Ten year, eight year old. From eight years old. Now, how long have you been in South Africa? From uh, I think from 2014 November I came. 
Yeah. Till now, almost nine years, ten years. Perfect. After I came to South Africa, after three, four months, I opened the show oh, with my uncle, half partnership. So it's not difficult to start a business here? Mm, not difficult, yeah. yeah but okay. uh, I am owner now from last, last month. I bought the show from you last month. Ah, so I awesome. saved slow, slow, slow my money, then I paying. Awesome. 200,000, I pay. Oh, well, and tell <laughs> me, um, when last were you back in Pakistan? To, uh, 22. 2020, yeah. 2020. Covered, yeah, before it covered. Before, before it covered, covered 15 days ago. Uh, like 2020 February, 28 February, I left South Africa. Yeah. And 1st March, I've been there. And 15 March is my wedding. And 16 March is lockdown closure. Oh, everything. yes. I remember still that. <laughs> and you got your family here, or is it just yourself? No, only my father. My father here almost eight months now. He got visa from there, everything. He applied visa. Uh, from that sort of Rikam Basin. And how do you find South Africa? That's safe? Very safe, very safe. Good this much. side is very safe. Shelly Beach, Wongo Beach, South Coast is very safe. The other side is little bit. Because dangerous. most people have got a very wrong impression of South Africa or Africa. They think it's all wild and no, no, animals no, 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 no. walking around. Very nice around South Africa and good business and good friendly people. Especially weather is very nice. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. And all the people you are friendly. Yes, yes, very friendly. Definitely. You my friendly friend. <laughs> yes, <he's> my friendly <laughs> friend. <laughs> <laughs> you can pay with the card or cash. Card, card, card. Right, now just tell your fellow countrymen if people from your country, Pakistan or India, wants to come over to South Africa, what is the best advice? What that is the advice? Best advice. Okay, I'm going to tell the right way, legal way, not the wrong way. Legal way means it's uh, my father came eight months ago. He came, he almost coming now, he, uh, day now to collect my parcel for Shepston. So, how he came, uh, I just asked him. Papa, one guy came from India to my shop, other shop, Shelly, my uncle's shop. He worked for us that side. So how he came, he get the visa from uh, India. My my uncle, he got PR here, permanent residence. He sent the paper documents, his PR and his bank statement and his ID picture to India, that man. So then he applied the visa uh, to get from embassy. So then he did get the visa uh, after he give his statement, bank statement and uh, his uh, that uh, taxpayer file. So he pay the tax as well to government every year. So after he came here, I my, my uncle, he just reminded me to call your father why he not come here. So he can apply visa like that. I just tell, I just tell my uncle, no, he can't get visa. Pakistan, they can't give visa, not so easy. India is very easy. No, he, he just asked me, no, you can just tell your father. He can try, try if he can get. I say, okay. Then I just call my father next day I say Papa you can just try to apply your visa from any visa consultant shop there if it's possible that traveler agency you know yeah there is my country uh, my city Madi Bhavati next to my house behind my house yeah next to society model town D block and uh, across the road there is the shop name is Sial visa consultant so my father been there he told him I need visa, I want to apply the visa for the visa, how can I do that? And that guy asked him, uh, you are filer, government FBR filer or not filer? My father said, I don't know. And then he said, just give me your ID card, I can check in the system. When he asked my father, give the ID card, my father gave him ID card, he just checked the, his ID detail. He said, you, on your ID card, on my system, he show me, you are FBR filer from three years ago. And my father said, I don't know. And uh, he said, you are. My father said, okay, maybe three years ago I bought a nice, uh, new house from my location. I moved from my location to the city, main city, Mandi Bawadi. Maybe when I uh, transfer that house to my name and that lawyer, maybe he opened my account yeah. because of fee, government fee. If he non-filer, not taxpayer, government, he's supposed to be paid 10,000. If he filer, then he pay like less less than half amount, like 3,000 3, only to transfer his house to his name. He said, maybe that lawyer, he opened my account. Then he said, okay, you, your account is very strong, dead, like three years now, three years old your account. Maybe you can get very easy visa. And then he said, okay, your file, I can create your file and I can charge you now only from that money, uh, rupees 25,000. Okay, 25,000 so mean here is uh, around, um, around uh, 1,200 or 300 rand. Okay, he said, so I need that fees only. Okay, just tell me for 
Hello, sir. How are you? Oh, I just need a screen. Oh, you can put it yourself. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let me just check my father. If it's possible, then he can get me now. Screen is cheap. Just 350. If it's possible, he did. Okay. Because it's still on the way. G, daddy, come on. Abu G. G, Nikola, you are here. जी एक मिनट एक मिनट रिवर्स हो गया बैक हो गया सर यू नीड टुडे नाउ ओके यू कैन गेट मी नाउ लाइक 15 मिनट्स इज पोर्ट शिफ्ट नाउ ओके 100 या नाउ वेट जी और लाया क्या भैया स्क्रीन जी जी स्क्रीन लाया वो लाया जो लाया जो गाड़ी से उतर जो स्क्रीन लाया वो ऑन द टैक्सी राइट से आई एम सिटिंग ऑन द टैक्सी जी जी यू कैन गो रिवर्स बैक जी जी A13 स्क्रीन 4G A13 4G LTE फोन I am going to go to the car, my MBA is going to be a good one. Yes, okay, okay. Yes, okay, I am signing. Yes, okay, okay. Yes, okay, I am signing. Yes, okay, okay. Yes, okay, I am signing. Yes, okay, I am signing. Yes, okay, I am glad your father is here. There, you said 500 Rand for my wife's phone. Yes. Okay. And the charging port, what did you do there to the phone? I changed the charging port. Okay. I'm still busy to checking, but uh, I will give you when I, my, when my father came. I will to give you that time because I ordered for your phone new parts. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put old parts. Okay. So that is the old parts. That old parts I fix already myself. Okay. So I like to be put new parts. New part it means no, don't give you the trouble again. No. So this old one I try to fix same parts. Your one is starting problem later on. No. Later on means month later, two month, three month, four month. So okay, I don't so like. Okay. So I must leave the phone here yeah, basically for another half an hour. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No, so no. if I want to make money, I I must give you like that now. So I, I say no. Why I must give you? Okay. This no, old no. parts I fix already. No. Why I fix to charge the battery? If he doesn't come earlier, so I can fix the phone, yeah. uh, the charging for older one. Some phone must be start to charging. So when he comes, same time I can just put new one and test it and give okay. it to him. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. Well, guys, I uh, hope you enjoy this little vlog. Uh, you can see all your countrymen is living nicely in South Africa. Very nice. Yes, they're enjoying Good it. Money make. <laughs> uh, everybody is friendly. You can approach anybody and they will help you. And then, um, yeah, this is a day in the life of Mali. Yeah, if, if anybody want to apply the visa there, they just go to the uh, visa consultant guy uh, that uh, doing the selling the air tickets and uh, try to help the make for you the file like that. Yes. My father been there and he, he helped. Help, uh, my father, he been there and that guy helped him. He just charge him twenty five dollars. He make the file and arrangement everything, booking the appointment, okay. and he just asked my father to give him his ID detail, ID card picture, passport pictures, and uh, is uh, that FBI already he got account three years, and he just asked my father, you, uh, you need bank statement. They that rupee, uh, it's mean one point five million. Must be that bank statement more than one point five million. Okay. Like their money, uh, uh, fifth. 1500,000, 1500,000. Okay. Yeah, they, they're calling that name of that money 15 lakh. More than 15 lakhs is yada. Okay. And then how long did it take for your father's visa to come through? Uh, only, uh, uh, for example, my father uh, got statement paper and everything. He got all the file is ready in uh, one week. And he been there in uh, Islamabad uh, before he put an uh, appointment. He booked the appointment. He been that side Islamabad. They on, only charge, uh, I think, that. That fees uh, they charge him, you know, basic fees is 5,000, 5,300 and then other fees, uh, 5,300, like 10,600 cost only for visa. And he apply for example today, he applied today like 18 and after 15 days, he got call from there, your passport is ready, please you can collect. Okay. Then my next day my father been that side, after two weeks, like 15 days, when he opened the, that, that, that plastic, he got visa there, then he very happy, then he just called me back. He said, uh, I got visa now, so you can book my tickets. Okay. After the next day, two weeks later, I booked the ticket from Port Shepston, uh, Hibiscus Travel. Yeah, Pakistani guy also selling tickets. And then I just booked the tickets around cost me 16,000 rand here. 16,000 rand from uh, Pakistan to Johannesburg and then Johannesburg to domestic flight. Uh, the Durban. Durban and then I go to yeah. Durban for my father I pick up there myself I go with my friends with a vehicle and that's all that cost uh, okay, around well. around that money from Pakistan money cost me around 300 yeah 300,000 so it means it's from here that amount that amount if I can account cost me just uh, 
20,000 rand. 18 or 20,000 rand. And he's here now. When he came here, I apply again his visa to extension visa. Because he got tourist visa only for a three month visa. And then before three month visa expire, I apply again for a, a, a extension visa. Then he got again three month visa. After that three month visa, I apply again now, right now, uh, last November I apply for him, uh, 17th November for, uh, I think, work permit, yeah. He already applied that, he got token number and everything. Okay, so sorry. he's just waiting for that now. Okay, awesome. Now, that's all. He happy now, he's learning phone fixing. So soon I'm going to open the other shop for him also, awesome. when he, he's still learning English and learning phone fixing. He's very happy also. Very yeah. happy for a business, good business here, good people here, good weather here, and good food here. And you can make some money, yeah. Why make not? Money you can make. Guys, <laughs> if you want to follow advice, if you need questions, like and subscribe, uh, comment on the sections underneath, we'll answer subscribe, all the questions. Subscribe, share, and like. Subscribe, share, and like. I've got to you at this. And then, yeah, we can answer all your questions as well and put you into contact with fellow countrymen. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Have thank awesome you, Allah Hafiz. Billy, Ink Man, out. Ji, Assalamu Alaikum. A Tera, A Tera, 4G. Yes, yes, A13, 4G. Screen. I hope you enjoyed the video. Or the small vlog. Thanks for watching, guys. Billy, Ink Man, out.